Hey there, greetings, it's V from V Love and Tarot and V Love and Crystals. Hope you're doing well. Today's pick a card reading is Who Has a Crush on You? If you're new, please consider sharing the video and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Alright, let's get started. Pile 1, what is your topper? Who has a crush on you? Who? You have this cat right here. Pile 1, examination. That's your card. That's your card, Pile 1. Okay. Pile 2. What is your card for who has a crush on you? Who has a crush on you? Pile number 2. You have Lovelorn. Music notes in this rose. That's for you, Pile 2. Pile 3. Pile 3. Who has a crush on you, Pile 3? Guidance. This is your coffee cup. Okay, so these are your piles, pile, piles one, two, and three. Choose which one you feel most drawn to. One, two, three. Timestamps are always below. And if you need more time, please consider pausing. No rush. All right. Thank you so much for being here. And let's get started. Pile one, we're going to go with you first with who's crushing on you. All right. We're going to start uh, the base the spine with the tarot here. So who's crushing on you? We'll see what the examination card wants to tell you. This is for my new newest deck, Daily Dose of Coffee. It's for sale on my Etsy and eBay shops. This is like giving me the page of swords energy, like very studious, very inquisitive, very curious. So we'll see how that plays a role. This person could be a secret admirer, someone who's watching your social media, someone who's paying close attention to you from across the street or <laughs> when you go shopping you have the page of wands so we i was talking about the page of swords the page of wands is, wands is here as well so you could be dealing with someone who's much younger than you someone who is um who has like a young spirit young at heart energy they could be older than you but they they come with a younger approach younger energy all right tell me more tell me more about this page of wands who's crushing on you who's crushing on you very eager very, oh, okay, more fire. Interesting. You have uh, <laughs> feline energy. No, you have fire. You got fire energy. You got the cat. You have the page of wands, the queen of wands. Very fiery energy here. Okay, tell me more about this page of wands. Who's crushing on you? Pile number one. Who's crushing on you? Pile number one. You have the Queen of Swords. You have air and fire, and then you have the Five of Cups. Okay, so this tells me more air. So you have Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. So this tells me this is somebody who, very logical energy, coming from a place of uh, action too, like thinking, very studious, problem solving, um, thinking, you know, uh, very methodical, strategic, you know, like trying to get ducks in a row, trying to get things in order. This person could be very, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like just very intelligent, very direct, very bold, uh, very cautious as well. I feel like they have an impulsive energy. The, the Knight of Swords tells me so, like some kind of like impulsive action this person takes. Like they get an idea, they go with it. Um, or it can just be, yeah, they get an idea, they go with it. Maybe it's not even impulsive. Um, but just Knight of Swords energy, it's like, come on, let's go, let's make a, let's make a change. Let's do this. Let's do, let's, let's rip the band-aid off. So that's why I get that impulsive energy. Um, <clears throat> this person, I also feel they are someone who could be, you know, a little guarded, a little cautious, five of cups because of what they went through in the past. And so I think also this person doesn't play games. This person's like, tell me what you want. Let it be known. Be crystal clear. Let's, let's, let's just be honest. And that's the energy we're dealing with with the Queen of Swords. You know, they respect you to give them... They respect you enough to give you the honest truth. And they also respect or expect that in return. They want you to be honest. They want you to be d direct with them. They don't want you to sugarcoat, tiptoe, dance about. They want you to be like the Knight of Swords and be like, come on, 
what is what what is it <clears throat> what it is busta what is it what is it? what it is right now busta what it is right now that's what i feel um just just tell me like it is queen of wands you know come on i got stuff to do i don't got time to waste <laughs> the queen of wands with the queen of swords wow that's a lot of that's that's powerful energy that is powerful energy oh gosh what what okay that's interesting you know we will dissect this even more because i want to know and i'm sure you do that's why you're here so i'm going to use my bittersweet love messages and i was going to actually call this the queen of swords love messages but too much to say so it's, i think it's appropriate you got the queen of swords so she's here and so she will speak so all right queen of swords she can be bitter she can be direct she can be cold at times. We're gonna to try to see what she, what the queens want to talk talk tell you about talk talk to you about. So I feel like on, on for all like I feel like this person is very curious. They want to know more about you. They want to know what makes you tick, what puts you on, what puts you off. They want to know what the deal is. Uh, do you are you interested in me, pal one? Where do you want this to go? Let's be let's be crystal clear and let's let's go for it. Just here's my my stance on things this is what i feel this is what i i think we should do this is how i think we should go forward i like you do you like me just be honest and i feel like with that energy you got the empress they want to like know what their where, what their place is what their 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 role is in your life do you, is it are we together are we just crushing on each other are we just dating is it casual what is it Busta, what it is right now like that's what i really really feel that energy like no put more playing games i want to let me know if i can nurture nurture you love love on you let me just let me know i want to make this change i can go in this direction or we can just be acquaintances and just like each other from afar see sun you know like needing to, something to be illuminated needing answers two of cups yeah let me come on let me love on you but you gotta let me know first we got to put a label label on it first. I can't just love on you and then you think I'm just a casual friend or a F buddy. Let me let me know where I stand. Are we going to be doing this this loving dance or are we going to just be friends and look at each other from afar? Let me know so I can know if I should love on you or just look at you. <laughs> All right. So this person's crushing on you big time. They find you to be very intelligent and attractive and independent and confident. Okay, tell me why the page of wands is here. This deck is for sale via Etsy and PayPal and uh, eBay if you're looking for this one. This is a sister deck for the porcelain Love Lenormand dolls that I have on my shop as well. Part 2 of Jasmine Becca Griffith's decks. Okay, why is the Page of Wands here for your crush? What is this Page of Wands trying to tell you? Page of Wands. Your person can only offer the bare minimum. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's like, it's like saying, I can only give you a little bit of a little bit because you're not letting me know where we stand. Do you love me? Do you want to be with me? Do you like me? Do you crush on me too? Do you think about me too? Do you want to grow a relationship together? Or do you just want to like date once a month? What is it, Busta? Yeah, ser seriously, they can't give you a lot. That's why we're having the pages here page of, of they're very curious i can't give you a lot if you don't give me something to work on not give you you know what i'm saying give me give me a title am i your boyfriend am i your girlfriend no okay i'll give you little breadcrumbs then because i'm not gonna give you my heart so you can just be like stepping on it you can so you can just take it and go like the knight of swords and go on your horse i need to i need something more stable more concrete so I can only give you a little bit of my heart. A little bit. You know, page of wands, you know, the very beginning stages of something. But I can give you more if you put a label on it. If you love me too. If you tell me your feelings. So that's what I'm getting here. You know, it's like they're very cautious with their heart. Because of, yeah, of what they went through. But I feel like if you were to make it known. If you were to say, listen, I want to be in a relationship with you. I want to go the distance. I want to commit. They're going to be like, here's my heart. Here's, I'm going to roll it like a, like a red carpet. There you go. Walk all over it. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Wands here for your person, person's messages? Why is the Queen of Wands here? What does the Queen of Wands want to tell you, pal one? There's intense chemistry in your connection. We already, we already know this. Are you telling me, tell me something? I don't know. 
Tell me something I don't know. Queen of Wands is all about that fire, that attraction, that desire. Yeah. Queen of Wands right there. There you go. This intense chemistry. And then you have your relationship is divinely guided. Love it. Love it. All right. Tell me why the Queen of Swords here. Uh-oh. I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to know. I think you do because that's why we're here. Queen, the Page of Swords. <laughs> all right. Queen of Swords. Tell me what's on your mind. What? What's up? What do you want to tell your person, pal one? Pal one person. Concerns about money affect your love life. So they could be worried about finances. They could be worried about their own, like how they're going to make money. Do they have enough money to, you know, feel good enough for you? Maybe you're looking for someone who makes more money and maybe they're thinking, oh my gosh, what if I don't make enough money? What if I'm not good enough when it comes to my job? What if I don't have a good job that you, uh, you think deems to be, you know, uh, you know, uh, a good money maker. You know, like what if they, their job is not something that you think is um of value? I don't know. They have they have it could be insecurities. You know, like not feeling like they have enough money to offer you a home or offer you a trip to, to Paris or <clears throat> pay pay for your lunch every time. You know, maybe they're just struggling financially. Maybe that's their thing. Okay, so then you have in the bottom of the deck, lies lead you nowhere. Seek or speak the truth. And that's the Queen of Swords. Let's be direct. Do you love me? Do you hate me? Do you want to go the distance with me? Or do you want us to just look at each other with googly eyes? Do you want us to just be Facebook friends? Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for you? Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? They're with you for the wrong reasons. So, you know, this could say, yeah, look at that. They're, they feel like they're out of your league. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Um, they're not feeling good enough for you. So with you for the wrong reasons. They could be with you because they, they want a relationship with you. They could be with you because they, they see potential with you. But maybe, I don't know, the wrong, the, the, it could be the wrong time, the wrong timing. It could be just... The wrong reasons. Hold on, let me clarify. It could be because they're, you know, wanting to be, they're hoping that someone can help heal their heart. Maybe they're hoping that you can be that person. Maybe they need to do some healing. I want to be with Pao Wan because she, she, she's the love of, she's the light of my life. She would make me so happy. But is this person making themselves happy first? Maybe they're not making themselves happy. Maybe they're coming into this relationship broken. So wrong reasons as in wanting to be with you to help them heal or to help them, you know, love again. But maybe they're not completely healed from the past. So it's hard to open up and give you love if they're not really completely full of love themselves. Um, let me see what... Why is... All right, friends. Let's see what the sun is about. Um, why is the sun coming out? No, not the sun. Um, the tower. Let's talk about the tower. Why is the tower here for what well, your person's heart wants to tell you, pal one? You're doing too much balance is needed. So, tower moment, you know, like this person could be uh, I don't know, like needing fairness, needing to know, just needing just, I don't know, like needing answers, you know, like maybe they're putting too much effort into, you know, coming towards you, approaching you, uh, liking you, showing you that they are interested, and maybe they're like, well, I need something from you, I need something to balance my scales, um, I'm doing so much, I'm putting so much into this with you, Pa One, what can you give me if you're even interested? So that's the tower, like needing to make a change, needing to like needing answers so they can move forward. <clears throat> why is the um why is the five of cups here? No more games, your partner has new goals. Like, yeah, your person really needs <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Your person really needs to know where you guys stand so they can know if they should go forward and offer you uh, you know, a boyfriend girlfriend title or fiance title. Or, I mean, well, you guys are crushing on each other, right? This person's crushing on you. Um, yeah, some kind of label this person wants to give to you. 
So no more games. They want you, yeah, like Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords with this card right here. No games. Let, just let me know what it is, Busta. Do you want me? Do you not? And it's cool if you don't. I can move on. Even though I think I see a future with you. But let me know where you stand so we can go about our day. With each other, without each other. So anyway, pile number one, I really honestly feel like your person's um, feeling like they need more answers from you. They need to know what's on your heart, if you even feel anything for them. And I, they need to have some kind of darkness illuminated. Like they need some answers, you know, shine light on some answers that they're asking of you. So um, if you can give them that, you can say, look, I'm interested. Or, you know, no, I just want to stay friends. I got to focus on myself or I'm with someone or just, you know, um, yeah, I don't feel the spark. You know, just be honest because this person is asking for honesty. This person is not asking for a little... Uh, you, they, they don't want you to beat around the bush. They want you to be very direct. So you, you tell them like it is, they can handle the truth. I promise you. That a little page of swords energy, they can handle the truth. You tell them like it is. Do you like them or not? Keep it moving, you know? And they can go unlock it, liking somebody else. And, you know, they'll maybe cry over spilt milk if you're not interested. But they'll, they'll move on. They'll find happiness and joy somewhere else. They'll, ha they'll go through that change, that feelings and change of heart. So anyway, you thank, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. If you want any of our decks, this is the <clears throat> uh, Daily Dose of Coffee. This is the Bittersweet Love Tea. And this is the... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I left my other deck upstairs. And this Weekend Love Messages. You have a beautiful day. We're going to head on to pile number two. Pile number two, you chose this beautiful card right here, Rose, the love notes, and the empty coffee cup. Love, Lauren. We'll see what this has to say to you. Pile number two, thank you for being here. If you're new, consider subscribing. And if you're not, I thank you for coming back for more. I have more pick-a-card readings here on my channel. I've been doing this for four years. I started on my other channel, V Love and Crystals, and I moved everything over here. So you'll have <laughs> pick cards over there, pick cards over here. I do personal readings too. I bring them here and there. I bring them out on Etsy, and then I pull back so I can preserve my energy, and then I put them back on Etsy. So if you want, grab your, your reading from me. I would love to read for you. And all of our decks I will be using will be linked below. We have 31 decks. All right, let's do this. So that for the base, I'm going to use Tarot. Thank you so much for your energy exchange. Let me know that you visited by putting out a comment below. Pound number two, who's your crush? Let's see what's going on here. Pound number two, who's your crush? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Pound number two, who's your crush? Pound number two, who's your crush? Tell me more about your person. Who's your crush? Who's crushing on you? Pound number two, who's your crush? Four of Pentacles. All right, money maker. Oh my gosh, keep going. Pile number two, who's your crush? Tell me about your crush. Pile number two, who's your crush? And then we'll clarify everything. You have the six of cups and the bottom of the deck, more pentacles, five of pentacles. All right, let's do it. So, different location here. I'm at my boyfriend's house for the weekend. So, change of scenery. Ah, oh, the energy is so good. So good, so fresh, so clean. I love this energy. <laughs> and then I go back home and I feel re rejuvenated. And then my energy is fresh over there with me and my kiddo. It's freaking awesome. Fabuloso. Fabuloso. It's freaking awesome. All right. So, I hope that you feel this energy. Okay. So, um, recharging, right? You got to recharge. Okay, so for you, number two, friends, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Four of Pentacles, you have the Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles, and this energy tells me that this person is uh, either in your uh, place of employment, maybe you guys work together, maybe you worked together in the past, Six of Cups, you guys could have a past, um, you guys could even share life path number eight, where you guys strive to make that money, honey. You both love earning and working towards your future, uh, your futures. So this person could be on the same path as you, you know, working towards goals, um, financial security, stability. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that can be one thing. The other thing could be that maybe you guys end up working together or you are working together. 
some uh, something like that working together building a legacy like this person could be a business partner this person could be someone who you go to their job and you see them there maybe you guys don't physically work together but maybe you you see them at your at their job often or maybe they come to your place of employment that's what i'm getting here um this person now the other part of this reading this can be an earth sign coming through and uh, water but the other the other thing to this is this person you know maybe you're not in the financial field right Maybe they are, and so they have their money here coming out like crazy, so they could be very wealthy. They could be somebody who just, you know, very ambitious, and they're, you know, they work from a place of love. You have Six of Cups here. They love what they do for a living. They, you know, probably came from a, a maybe they came from a poor family, and that's why money is so important to them. Um... I can see this person's very frugal with their money. They've come from a uh, you know a hard time when it comes to making money, um, earning money, or just having money. You know, growing up in the younger years, maybe it was hard to come by. So now this time they work really really hard, and they're probably very frugal. Other people might know them to be cheap, cheap, um, but you can know them to be very prudent, resourceful, and frugal. So that's that's how we're gonna. <laughs> Uh, tra transmute that negative energy from cheap to frugal and prudent and resourceful, thrifty even. Now the other side of this is this person could live a very luxurious life. Maybe they just, you know, love spending a lot of money and they need to be very careful of this. They need to be more, you know, if they're not frugal, they ought to be. They ought to be very thrifty. They ought to learn how to pinch a penny or two. Um, and they could come to you for either financial assistance or financial advice. That can be another thing. Or you're going to them for financial assistance, financial advice. That's how I'm going to end that portion of the reading. Now let's get into the clarifiers. All right, so, okay, let's, let's go with the, the uh, I'm going to use my daily dose of coffee. If you are interested in this, we do have this for Etsy, on sale for Etsy, on Etsy and eBay. This is our, our newest baby. All right, so why is the Ten of Cups, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. They love where they are now, financially. I will tell you why the Five of Pentacles is here. Okay, this is, okay, this is a, this, <laughs> underneath you have the Hermit. This person doesn't tell you that they're financially wealthy. They probably keep it on the wraps, they're probably very humble. But you know this, you know it, because they're very frugal, like I said. They know how to pinch a penny or two. Oh my gosh, wait till you see this. Look at that. This looks like an empty cup, right? But you don't know. There's probably like a $100 bill in there. It looks empty. But there's probably $200 bills wrapped up in here in this empty cup. So this person leads you to believe. Or they're just very humble about their money. I get that with the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. They keep their money, their monetary business to themselves. They don't want you to know how well off they are because they don't want your feelings for them to change or they just don't want to trust people too much with their uh, business. So they have a you have addiction here. So they could be a workaholic here, a workaholic on your hands. Ten of Pentacles, four, four of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Uh, purpose. They, yeah, they know what their purpose is in life. It's to make money to provide. It's to provide. It's to stabilize themselves, sustain themselves, sustain their family. So this person loves you. Oh wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me uh, correct myself. Wait, let me make sure. Let me correct myself if I need to. Let me make sure. Um, hold on. I don't know. This person. You remind this person of their past, like not, not like an ex past. It's more like when they look at you, you remind they remind you remind them of like a friend or something very warm, and the, and oh man, like something very nostalgic. Like being around you just brings them joy, nostalgic joy. You know how like you can be friends with someone and you're like, man, it feels so home with you. I I just I feel like I've known you before. Or just, you remind me of a, 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 my best friend from when I was, like, four. <laughs> you know, it's, like, very endearing, very, like, innocent, this friendship, this crush. 
Hold on. And then you have, wait a second, you got the flower in the cup here, right there, and a flower in a cup here. So this person's like, I feel like this person is very generous, very loving. Um, they miss you when you're not, when you're not together. <clears throat> they miss you. They want to offer you. They want to provide for you. They want to give you assistance somehow, like financial advice, or they want to just like be there for you as a soundboard, as support. They really, really do have a crush on you because they see, they see your innocent heart, your innocence, your, your like, your soft heart. There's something soft about you. It's like they want to be there for you. Um, authority. Oh my gosh. They, they want to provide for you. They want to care for you. They want to, like, help you discipline your life. You know, just think of, like, just think of, like, um, like a, a young woman, and she falls in love with her older man. Maybe just by two years, his, her major, three years, four years, five years, ten years, and he just, it, it's not awkward because she's, who knows, she can be in her 30s, and he could be in his 40s. Or maybe she's like 19 and he's like 25. Like, I don't know. I just feel like there's some kind of like um, disciplinarian energy here. And it's like something that you're needing. And it's not a creepy cougar relationship where one person is like 50 and the other one's 19. It's not like that. It's like this person is very wise for their years. Maybe, yeah, wiser. What the heck do they say? Wise beyond the years, right? And so you look up to them. They're very inspiring. You look up to them for assistance, for help, for mentorship, for support. And they have a crush on you. And they're very mature. They're very disciplined. And they mean well. And so just think of this energy as they're both children, but you can tell that one, one is older than the other. So you're both adults, but this person could be a little bit older than you. I mean, you're, you're older than them, but you feel like you feel like you're younger than them because they, they have more years of experience or who knows, you know, who knows, who knows. Maybe they're book smart, street smart, who knows, but you, you, can, you look up to this person. For example, my best friend from the 90s, she is two years younger than me, and I looked up to her. I always thought of her as the oldest. Like, she just, her, her aura, like, the way she carried herself, so responsible and conservative and intelligent and assertive and I just I looked up to her so it could be that kind of dynamic that you share with this person okay why is why is the um why is the four of pentacles here for your person pal two friendship so this person you guys could have a strong friendship maybe you guys you know don't want to cross the boundary holding the boundary tight you're like nope I don't want to cross the, the boundary of friendship after friendship we're, we're going to be what loving partners oh my gosh i don't know i don't know how i feel about that i don't want to mess up a good thing that can be your energy or that can be your person's energy you know they crush on you but they don't want to change it see look emotions they do have emotions for you they do it's interesting look family friends of the family so you guys have a soul connection it feels very familiar friend of the family family legacy no, this is not a family member crushing on you, I promise. It's not. It's somebody from, like, your, your past. Like you, like, like, you guys have some kind of soul tie or something. Like, you got the six of cups. You know, it doesn't, it's not, like, family energy. It's more like, you know, you guys, that's why there's a boundary here. You guys don't want to cross the boundary because you, you guys could have grown up together. You guys could have, um... You know, just think of Dawson's Creek. Come on, come on, let's think outside the box. Dawson's Creek, you know, like they grew up together, right? And then all of a sudden they started developing feelings at, as teenagers. And then it got a little awkward. And then they were sleeping over at each other's houses. But then they, they started growing body parts that were not, <laughs> were, you know, now feeling, like, anyway, you know what I'm saying. They started developing a grown up body parts or adolescent body parts <laughs> teenage body parts and then that wasn't mixing well and so everything changed and and then they try to be together and then it just got so complicated and I feel that's what's happening here it's, it's like you guys grew up together or maybe you guys worked together for so long and now it's like we're at the borderline here we can't cross the line that's what I'm feeling right here 
and it's like out of respect for you but also because it's going to make things a little challenging maybe you guys have mutual friends mutual family and everybody's going to be like what so maybe you're like worried about outside force or outside opinions friends and family opinions about what they would say about your relationship and maybe they don't want to ruin a good thing either so and you got authority so this can be like i don't know this can be your, like your your father's uh best friend's son <laughs> And you guys get together at barbecues and now the father's best friend's son is looking at you a certain way and you're looking at them and you know that the your father and and uh your the your father and the best friend they're close, right? So then what's gonna what what happens when you and the best friend's son come together? Then that means the father and the best friend of your father, they they might butt heads a little bit. You do have the disciplinary card here. So the, your your crush's father and your father could be butting heads over you guys having googly eyes over each other. And that's why I, <laughs> it gets a little complicated. You know, they want to protect you. Or it can be it can be your sister and then her her best friend likes you. And you're like, "Wait a minute. Uh this is kind of awkward. Too close to home." So let's see what messages want to come through for you. Your sister's best friend's neighbor likes you. Something like that. It's just very close to the family, but it's not a, it's not blood family, I promise you. All right, so lovely, lovely. See, because we did have friendship too, so it feels like family because you guys know each other. You've been in each other's lives for a long time. Or maybe you guys have a past life together. Maybe it's like a soul connection, a twin flame soulmate connection that it makes you feel like family soulfully. What messages from your person's heart wants to come through? Pile number two. Pile number two for your crush. What messages want to come through from your crush's heart? Pile two. The heart wants what it wants. It's like, it's forbidden fruit, but I freaking can't stop liking you. I can't stop. I can't stop it. Even though your brother knows my cousin, I I still, I still, I, my heart wants what it wants. It does. This is my bittersweet uh, love tea oracle. It's for sale. This is our second Jasmine Becker Griffith with permission deck. Um, if you want it, it's on my Etsy and eBay shops. Working on the wounds to be better, to to better, you know, come into this connection, into this union. So if they're working through their issues, uh, then they're maybe they're trying their best to, you know, get over their wounds so that they can come to you with a full heart. Um, yeah, they're trying their hardest to earn your love, you see? And then you have children are a major concern. So look at that, children with children. So it could be that maybe you, <laughs> wow, maybe you have, this is crazy, your mom, let's just say, your mom's best friend's daughter or son likes you. So now your mom and her best friend could be butting heads, or they could be in cahoots saying, oh, I can't wait for your son and my daughter to get married. And so it brings the family close together that way. Not by blood, but more like by marriage, you know? So I don't know, like something like that. <laughs> Somebody crushing on you who freaking knows one of your relatives, I'm telling you. It's so awkward. You're like, oh my gosh, but I see your barbecues. I see your baby showers. I see your birthday parties every freaking month. How can you like me? <laughs> All right, that's what I have for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. You have a beautiful day. If you want any of our decks, please do find our links below. And I'll catch you in the next video. Pile number three, thank you so much for choosing this pile. You have a beautiful day up ahead, a beautiful week up ahead, full of love, health, and prosperity. Let's figure out who your crush is. If you want a personal reading, check out my Etsy. And if you want um, more picker cards, check out my playlist. I've been doing this for four plus years now. All right, so let's do this. Who's your crush? Pile number three. Pile number three, who's your crush? Pile number three. You have the Empress Earth energy coming through. Okay, I'll take it. That's interesting, Pal. So you also had a lot of Earth, a lot of Earth energy. But we'll see what comes through. Let's see, new people, new message, new reading. <clears throat> who has a crush on you? Who has a crush on you? Pal number three. Who has a crush on you? Pal number three. Two of Pentacles, King of Wands. Who has a crush on you? Pal number three. Pal number three. Tell me more. More Earth and the Ten of Swords. All right, let's do it. I'm going to clarify everything. You know how we do it here. Got to clarify. 
So, hope you're well, by the way. Please subscribe. Bring your friends over and share this video. I would love it. And I thank you. Also, don't forget to vote. We vote for topics every single day. On what pick of cards we can post to this channel. Let me know. All right. So, the Empress wants to come through. Uh, since we see Earth, I'm going to use my, my new coffee deck. So, the Empress tells me this person is very um, nurturing, very loving, very abundant in friendships in um i don't know opportunities like for i'm gonna be for i'm gonna be honest with you like i feel like <laughs> this person gets like <clears throat> it's very sporadic but this person gets like stuff just planted on their lap like i know it's like what okay let me let me um let me uh clear up so okay what i mean by this is your person is a lucky, very a vibrant soul. So they might walk into things that just fall on their laps. Walk into a job just like that. They don't even have to try too hard. They probably do a little bit of, you know, what's it called? Smoothing, get to know somebody. And they're like, hey, I would love to work with you. You know, that kind of thing where they don't even have to try hard to land an opportunity, to land a role, to land a job, to land a friend, to land a whatever. This, I feel like that's, that's just the energy that this person brings. You talk to them, and it, you want, and they want to, like, offer you something. It's like your energy is just so magnetic. It's beautiful. It's very empowering. It's very, like, you have leadership energy here. Um, <clears throat> wow, wait a second. Your energy is very, oh, my goodness. Wait a second. Okay, so that's the person... This, okay, this is the person we're talking about. The person we're talking about is someone who, um, they see your potential, they see your beauty, they see that you ha you're going places, they see that you're, like, they want to work with you, they want to provide for you, they want to, like, be like, here, here you go. And so that's what I feel is happening here. I feel like I'm picking up on their energy for you. I'm not getting their energy at all. I feel like I... Like, Spirit wants me to uh, speak about you first, to understand them better. So I'm going to shuffle again. <clears throat> so so the, the way they perceive you is someone very um, abundant. Like, they just want to, like, help you. They want to provide for you. Not, like, financially. It's more like, hey, do you need help? Can I, can I, can I help you with your lawn? Can I help you with your garden? And you're like, I can do it. I'm the, I'm the king of wands. And they're like, I know, but I, I don't mind helping you. Like, you look like you're busy taking care of your daughter. <laughs> you look like you're about to, it looks like you need, it looks like, I don't know. It's just, it's just like very helpful energy. Like somebody just wants to help you out. That's how they see you. And not out of pity or not out of, oh my gosh, she can't do anything for herself. It's more like just, just it's just, they just want to like offer you something. They want to help you. They want to like see you happy and so this crush i i do say they they put you on a high pedestal they see you as someone very leading very attractive hard working and they see your hustle they see your 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 hustle your um your weaknesses they see what you had to go through your strengths to get to where you are now and that's that's what makes them want to help you i don't know it's not it's not a sympathy or charity thing i promise you you know, you know how you see like somebody out you know, like walking and they look like they could use an extra hand and then you try to offer and they're like, I don't need your help. And that's the kind of energy that you bring. <laughs> <clears throat> that's the energy that you bring. Like, I don't need your help. I got this. I'm the empress. And they're like, I know, I know, I know. But um, I know a little bit about gardening. Maybe I can help you plant this little flower right here. Um, you know, do you need a, a, a help? I don't know. Do you need a, a ear? I would love to, you know, you look like you can use a hug, you know, like that kind of energy. Um, or I just want to be in your energy because you're just fun. You seem really like down to earth, you empress. You seem very like warm and inviting, pile three, pile three. So it's like they want to be part of your energy. You know, that's why they want to help you because that, that, that means they can be part of your energy. They can experience friendship with you. All right, let's talk about, okay, we're talking about you. Like, I clearly see that. So you've been through something, and that's why you're as strong as you are. 
you know, you've been uh, burnt in the past, and, and maybe that's why they feel like, you know, look at that. <laughs> I can't I fucking tell you. Let me tell you, okay? Now we're getting into the emperor's energy. This was all about the empress. This is about your crush right here. We're going to get to that. They see what you've been through, your your travel, your your, your trials and tribulations, your your strengths, I mean your weaknesses, your your upheavals, your challenges, and 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 it kind of messes with their heart a little bit. And it's not out of sympathy. You know, it's just because they care. Emperor. So now we're getting into your person. Your, your person feels like you are their match. That's why they're crushing on you. Empress, there you go. Here's your emperor. Okay, let's do this. Why is the emperor here? Tell me about your crush. Wow. Now we know. Now we know what's up. We need to understand your person's energy to better understand, or no, understand your energy to be able to dive into your person's energy. And now we're matching the empress with the empress. So now we understand. Okay. Had I started with the emperor, we probably wouldn't have gotten the empress and I wouldn't have understood where we were going with this. Okay, so tell me more about your crush. I already know how they perceive you, why they're crushing on you. You could be very motherly, mothering. They probably want you to have their, their baby. <laughs> or if you guys are way older and you already have children, they probably want to blend families with you. They probably want to be a role model to your children. Maybe they want to adopt pets with you. This is just very loving energy, very nurturing. Oh my stars, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i love this i love shuffling look at that friends you saw this you saw me shuffle look king of wands with the empress male with the female male with the female emperor <laughs> I, can't, I can't make this stuff up empress with the king of wands emperor with the queen of wands you see what i'm saying this is a twin flame energy friend you got twin flames twin fires so i feel like this person thinks of you as someone who is their counterpart, their divine counterpart, someone they can uh, go the distance with. You do have the Knight of Pentacles, someone that, you know, will, will have their back through and through, someone they can rely on, trust in. So you got two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. So this person sees, you know, a, a future working with you. This person crushes on you because they feel there's some kind of magnetism, this duality, two of Pentacles. There's something that's very... Um, mirroring you got the knights of pentacles the knight of wands so this is like a twin flame situation okay so why is it yeah hold on tell me more about your emperor so you can be the emperor you know you can be the male with empress energy you can or the person your person could be the female with emperor energy um vice versa so we have both masculine and feminine uh energies within us so however this resonates for you Tell me more about your emperor, you awesome pile number three friends. Page of Cups. So before we had the seven of wands, but then I put it back into my uh, my hand because I was like, okay, I'm not ready to ask the question. But then look, it's here again. So this person, you know, they they want the advantage to get your attention. They want the advantage to um, win you over and get a chance to date you because they really feel that you guys mirror each other. You Like, how can you not? And that is why we needed to go with your energy first. Because now we're seeing the mirroring differences or the mir mirroring similarities and the differences. So you have Empress with the Emperor, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. And you have the, the Ten of Swords with the Page of Cups So um, and the Seven of Wands here. So you guys like, have a fighting chance to make this work. This person really wants to see where you guys can take this connection. They feel really drawn to you. That's why they're crushing on you. Um, something very familiar. When they look into your eyes, they see something that is just so profound like they see home they see you know like your empress and emperor like coming together it's like how could i not want a life with you you complete me you mirror me you push me you you support me i just saw 11 11 on the clock or i'm sorry 1 11 on the clock indecision that's the two of swords and i did see the two of swords um in here oh, where'd it go I saw the two of swords before I shuffled again. So you guys, you know, you guys could be, like, not figuring out where you guys stand. Like, I'm sorry. You guys should, you know, have you have potential to figure out where you guys stand. Do you want to be in a relationship? This person really clearly wants to be in a relationship with you. But the question is, do you want to be in a relationship with them? 
do you want to be uh, committed to them? Because they clearly want to be committed to you. They're the, they're the empress wanting the emperor or vice versa. Purpose. They want to know what the, what the deal is. Do you want to be with me? Um, do you see a future with me? Do you see potential with me? Can you maneuver things in, in your life to be with me? Two of Pentacles. Can you work with me? Three of Pentacles. Um, compassion. Do you love me? Do you have feelings for me? So it's like it's, everything's up in the air. Like this person doesn't know what the future holds because maybe you're not sure. Maybe so One of you have been hurt though. Yeah, one of you have been hurt in the past. Um, reminiscence means that you guys have a soul connection, a soul past here. It's very apparent. You guys and you guys bring peace and joy and quietness to each other. But look, reminiscence. You guys probably have some kind of history. You know, maybe you guys have like a soul contract or a soul, um, yeah, like a twin flame energy. I'm not an expert on twin flame or karmic or soulmate connections, but I would, you know, definitely look more into that, do more research on that. I do feel there's a lot of mirroring energies or mirroring, mirroring similarities here. So let's see what messages they would like to tell you. Let's see. Messages from their hearts. Power number three. Messages from their hearts. Man, they're crushing on you so badly. Like they see themselves with you as if, you know, like you guys have been together before. It just feels so natural. See, look at that. Being with you makes me feel 10 feet tall. That's the emperor right there. You're worth the wait. You're worth the wait. This is my endless weekend messages. Oracle, I have them for sale at my Etsy eBay shops. If you're interested and also with the coffee deck, check out my Etsy shop. I have discounts. There's no doubt in my heart I'm yours forever. I'm a small your sense even when we're apart. See, you're the empress and this person is like not kidding around. This, when this person says they love you, they love you. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. You take care. If anything uh, hits home for you, maybe it was part of your story. Um, and yeah, look, I need to know how you feel for me. I need to know where you stand so we can move forward. Um, yeah, if you want a personal reading, check out my Etsy link below. Thank you so much. Share this video with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to help us vote every single day. Bye-bye now.